So my name's Jaden, and I'm visiting my Auntie Angela from uh, from New York. I play basketball in Florida, and I'm just trying to learn about healthy choices to improve my my game. Okay, hi Jaden, nice to have you. Do you want to get up so they see how tall you yeah. are? I feel like I drop right next to him. See, yeah. he's gone off the camera. Yeah, I'm six seven. You're six seven. Pretty tall. Yeah, he's pretty tall, and he's visiting and wants to know. Um, just want some tips on how to uh, make some healthy juices for um, sports people, something that will boost his stamina. So I want to show him a quick recipe that will help him with his sports. So it's pretty basic. basic. It is um, watermelon. Watermelon is really good. It's packed with, um, actually improves our pH, makes it alkaline, which is good for us because when your body is alkaline, it's hard for disease to grow as well and then lemons as well i normally use lemon and lime i've shared watermelon video before but i'm just looking at it from a sports performance perspective and one ingredient Jaden, that really helps with stamina sports performance is um, beetroot yeah a lot of people cook it but you actually don't need to all you need to do is just add a few slices to your juice so we're using three basic ingredients beetroot Lemon, you can use just lemon or lemon and lime. I just combine them because this tastes uh, slightly different. And in choosing a watermelon, always look for one that has a yellow patch, yeah? Because that means it's going to be a delicious watermelon. It's ready and, and ripe enough to eat. I used to think that wasn't ripe. I would avoid anyone with the patch. But actually, it, it's, that means it's um, ready. So we're just going to make this juice. It's quick, it's easy, and actually, since you're going to do it by yourself in school, mm -hmm. you can just peel all of it and put some in the freezer bag, put it in the freezer and take as you need, because you will finish all of that by yourself. Uh, yeah? But if you want to do a big batch, then you can, the way you have leftover, take the skin off like so, yeah? And put them in a freezer bag. And and freeze yeah so what you do the day you need it you just bring out your watermelon add some lemon and your beetroot also for the beetroot i peel it and freeze so you have it to hand when you need it yeah? Uh -huh. yeah so those are just quick tips to make sure you constantly have the ingredients um leaves are actually you can add to your juice but because people don't you know some someone like you won't want the skin mm. you can peel it but actually just like carrot and a lot of fruits even with this watermelon the skin has a lot of goodness mm. so we tend to peel but most of the things we peel off have even more nutrition than the actual food um you don't need to peel it but if you're more comfortable peeling because you think oh that looks rough or whatever then do peel it so you have a smooth juice but when you feel comfortable enough you can have your a beetroot without peeling because it has a lot of goodness yeah okay. but we peel for the cosmetic look but we should be looking at the health value yeah, yeah. the beetroot we can use all of it or you can use half the beetroot with this just put it in your freezer mm. yeah, put it in the freezer but put it in your freezer and it will be fine yeah Thank you. and with watermelon watermelon is 99 percent water so when you do this, you actually don't need to add water at all, mm. yeah? Plus, we're going to add, uh, do you want to add the cutter? Yeah, I'll cut this. Yeah, cut this. So I'm not really that good at cutting, no. Hmm? Just, just cut it down. <laughs> don't cut your finger. Just yeah, cut it like down. So. Oh, uh, do you cook in school? <laughs> um, I don't cut stuff. I just buy stuff that's already cut. Okay. Watch your finger. Yeah? Yeah. Just make sure the knife is not getting to your finger. I'll use another knife. Um, so you need to practice cutting because you, you won't find them on that's already cut, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you take out the seed, yeah? Yeah. That's um, why I want to squeeze it. I'll get you some to squeeze it into me. Okay, so just push so it, it, the juice comes out. I 
add more watermelon to this. So half the watermelon will give you, you know, the jar with mm. the, jar, the water jar? Yeah. We'll give you nearly that. So it might be handy. You can actually use a water bottle. You know, like the water, this is where the water is. Yeah. So you can just pour it in your water bottle. Uh -huh. Or something like this and put it in the fridge. You have it for the rest of the day. I do for all these? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the leaves are good for salad. And you know, I actually planted this because oh, really? I harvested it just now. How, yeah. long, how long did it take to grow? A couple of months, maybe now. For one? Well, when, anytime you plant it, for when you harvest. So I have others. I just harvested this one now. Uh -huh. But I planted maybe eight weeks ago. I was actually surprised, the big one. Mm -hmm. Let's pour that in. There's still one more. Yeah. Okay. So are you going to be trying this in school? Uh, yeah. Yeah. The I'm beetroot actually. A lot of sports people use beetroot as stamina, for mm -hmm. stamina and for um, performance. Mm -hmm. So it's well researched and it's a known fact that beetroot actually, beetroot actually enhance performance it actually improves the circulation of blood so it just gives you that stamina too so if i decided to drink one of these juices before my games i would yeah. notice i have more stamina yeah than usual. yeah it will give you and it's all natural as well oh. isn't it yeah so you could actually do beetroot by itself mm -hmm. with some other um some other like orange beetroot carrot beetroot you can just have a variation but you really like this watermelon so yeah, we're doing it and i'm adding beetroot so that you see how you can you can drink this um frequently um watermelon is high in sugar content but because it's natural sugar it's okay have you got blender in school oh uh, yeah i got blender okay so that's what you do you want to come help me blend it so that's ready good done now it's done and it's got a nice magenta yeah, it has a nice color. Yeah. Some see. This this is so refreshing, especially for this very hot season that we find out warm summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's pour? Yeah, you pour as much as you want. I don't mind. So you can also add berries to it if berries. you like. But just to keep it simple, three ingredients here. Mm. Let's go. What do you think? Should we go? Yeah. So let's drink to success in sports. Success in yeah. sports. This year. Keep working hard. Mm. Really proud of you. Mm. Appreciate it. Yeah. So do this as often as you can. Freeze your ingredients if you don't have time to shop all the time, yeah? Uh, so that you always have to 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 drink and to do to juice and drink, yeah? Yeah. So it's going on your uh, YouTube, right? Oh. So subscribe, like, <laughs> all that. Yeah. <laughs> subscribe. That's watermelon juice. So yeah. I can make this if you're an athlete, you can make this give you more stamina and all that. Subscribe, follow, all that stuff. Yeah. Help you be more effective on the court, the field. If you play football, it doesn't matter. But yeah, subscribe, follow, and make you some of this juice. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Uh -huh. um, that's really refreshing, especially in this very warm um, weather we find ourselves. We've just added some ice, no sugar, nothing, all natural, pure um, plant based. And it enhances performance, as Jane has said. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Looking forward to my NBA ticket someday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, so just um, watch this space, but really excited to have you.